Geometric Sequence Good day everyone! Welcome to Pinoy Math! Our objectives for today are Number 1. To define and illustrate geometric sequence Number 2. To differentiate geometric from arithmetic sequence Number 3. Find the next few terms of a geometric sequence and last, to appreciate and apply geometric sequence to real-life situations. We will start by determining which of the following is an arithmetic sequence. Letter A, 4, 7, 10, 13, and ellipses. Letter B, 1 half, 1, 3 halves, 2, and ellipses. Letter C, 10, 0, negative 10, negative 20, negative 30, and ellipses. Letter D, 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, and ellipses. Letter E, 50, 25, 25 over 2, 25 over 4, and ellipses. And the last letter F, 2, negative 4, 8, negative 16, and ellipses. Sequences A, B, and C are arithmetic because you are adding a constant number to get the next terms. In letter A, common difference is equal to 3. In letter B, it is equal to 1 half. And in letter C, it is equal to negative 10. Sequences D, E, and F are not. In the sequences, you are multiplying by a constant number. These are called geometric sequences. Geometric sequence is a sequence wherein you are multiplying a constant number to obtain the next terms. That constant number being multiplied is called common ratio. It is denoted by small letter r. In the sequence 3, 6, 12, 24, 48, and ellipses, you are multiplying by 2 to obtain the next terms. Therefore, the common ratio R is equal to 2. In the sequence 50, 25, 25 over 2, 25 over 4, you are multiplying by 1 half or dividing by 2. R is equal to 1 half. In 2, negative 4, 8, negative 16, and ellipses, the common ratio is negative 2. Take note that if the geometric sequence is increasing, R is greater than 1. If the sequence is decreasing, R is a decimal or a fraction less than 1. And if the signs of the terms are alternating, then the common ratio is negative. To help you understand, let us have some examples. Example number 1. Which of the following is a geometric sequence? Letter A, 16, 4, 1, 1 fourth, and ellipses. Letter B, 2, 4, 12, 48, and ellipses. Letter C, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and ellipses. And last, letter D, 5, 10, 15, 20, and ellipses. In letter D, we have here an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 5. In letter C, we're adding the two previous terms to get the next term. We call this a Fibonacci sequence. In letter B, we are multiplying by different numbers. 2 is multiplied by 2, 4 is multiplied by 3, 
and 12 is multiplied by 4. Therefore, it is not a geometric sequence. In letter A, 16, 4, 1, 1 fourth, we are multiplying by 1 fourth. Therefore, the answer is A, with a common ratio of 1 fourth. Example number 2. Find the common ratio of the geometric sequence 3, 15, 75, and ellipses. To find the common ratio, divide the second term by the first term, or the third term by the second term, or the fourth term by the third term, and so on. If the quotients that you get are equal, then you have a geometric sequence. The equal quotients is the common ratio. Dividing 15 by 3, we get 5. And dividing 75 by 15, we get 5. Therefore, R is equal to 5. Example number 3. Find the next terms of the geometric sequence negative 4, 12, negative 36, blank, blank, and blank. It is clear that you are to get the next three terms. Since it was given that it is a geometric sequence, we only need to divide 12 by negative 4 or negative 36 by 12 to get the common ratio. Pag dinivide natin, ang 12 sa negative 4, ang answer ay negative 3. Or pag dinivide din natin ang negative 36 sa 12, ang answer din ay negative 3. Therefore, R is equal to negative 3. Since R is equal to negative 3, we will multiply it to the last term which is negative 36. We get the next three terms as... 108, negative 324, and 972, respectively. We may also find the nth term or indicated term of a geometric sequence by using the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to the n minus 1, where a sub n is equal to the nth term, a sub 1 is equal to the first term, R is the common ratio, and N is the number of terms. Ang formula na ito ang gagamitin natin para makuha ang mga terms ng isang geometric sequence. Example number 4. Find the sixth term of the sequence 2, 4, 8 and ellipsis. Ang a sub 1 o first term is equal to 2. Ang r o ang common ratio ay makukuha sa pag-divide ng 4 sa 2. So, ang r natin is equal to 2. At ang n naman ay ang number ng terms. Since ang hinahanap natin ay ang 6 term, n is equal to 6. Substituting all of the values, we get a sub 6 is equal to 2 times the quantity 2 raised to the 6 minus 1. a sub 6, therefore, is equal to 2 times 2 raised to the 5th power. Simplifying, we have 2 to the 5th is equal to 32, and multiplying it by a sub 1, which is 2, we have a sub 6 is equal to 64. Therefore, the sixth term of the sequence is 64. Example number 5. Find the fifth term of the sequence 200, 50, 50 over 4, and so on. Here, a sub 1 is equal to 200. R is equal to 50 over 200 or 1 fourth. 
n is equal to 5. A sub 5 is equal to 200 times the quantity 1 fourth raised to the 5 minus 1. Simplifying, we have a sub 5 is equal to 200 times the quantity 1 fourth raised to the 4th power. 1 fourth raised to the 4th power is equal to 1 over 256. Multiplying it by the first term, which is 200, we get a sub 5 is equal to 200 all over 256. Dividing both the numerator and denominator by 8, we get 25 over 32. 8 is the greatest common factor of 200 and 256. We divide both of them to simplify the fraction. Our fifth term, therefore, is 25 over 32. For our generalization, what is a geometric sequence? Correct. It is a sequence wherein you are multiplying by a constant number to obtain the next terms. How do you find the common ratio? Yes, you have to divide the next term by the previous term to get the common ratio. How do you find the nth term of a geometric sequence? Yes, you will use the formula a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times the quantity r raised to the n minus 1. Let us try the following. Is the sequence 16, 8, 7, 3 a geometric sequence? If yes, what is the common ratio? The answer is no, because 8 over 16 is not equal to 7 over 8. So there is no common ratio. Number 2. What is the common ratio of the geometric sequence negative 4, negative 8, negative 16? Dividing negative 8 by negative 4 or negative 16 over negative 8, we get the common ratio R is equal to 2. Take note that since the signs of the terms are not alternating, then the common ratio is positive. Pag negative ang common ratio, ang mga signs ng mga terms ng geometric sequence ay alternating. Otherwise, it is positive. Number 3. What is the seventh term of the geometric sequence 1 half, 1 six, 1 over 18, and so on. The common ratio R is equal to 1 6 divided by 1 half, or R is equal to 1 third. Substituting A sub 1 is equal to 1 half, R is equal to 1 third, and N is equal to 7, we get A sub 7 is equal to 1 half times the quantity 1 third raised to the 7 minus 1. Simplifying, a sub 7 is equal to 1 half times the quantity 1 third raised to the 6 power. 1 third raised to 6 power is equal to 1 all over 729. And multiplying it by 1 half, we have a sub 7 is equal to 1 all over 1458. The seventh term is therefore 1 all over 1,458. Did you get the correct answer? If you did, then that's very good.
that ends our lesson. Again, please don't forget to subscribe to Pinoy Math. Happy learning!